Nearly a year after violence erupted in the Sherman Park neighborhood, federal investigators continue looking for people who burned multiple businesses to the ground. Fires and looting went on for days after the shooting death of Seville Smith by a former Milwaukee police officer. Rebecca Clough talked to federal agents who hope to finish the investigation soon. A year ago, fire lit up the night as people clashed with police in the Sherman Park neighborhood. More than a half dozen businesses were looted, then burned. Within 48 hours, the city suffered more than $8 million in damage. Milwaukee PD, fire, and federal investigators from the ATF launched a joint investigation to find those responsible. We are going to hold the people accountable who started those fires. Milwaukee police arrested dozens of people in the days following the violence. But it wasn't until last month that the feds arrested and charged a man with setting fire to Big Jim's liquor store. The ATF says the six other businesses that burned are still active cases. We are actively working and in a complex investigation such as this, there's a lot involved. Part of that investigation has been through social media, agents using sites like Facebook to look at cell phone video of the violence. Those uh, social media accounts, which we have mined tirelessly, have given uh, clues and led to several things. And the ATF says agents aren't done yet. We are in the home stretch of the investigation and we are antis anticipating uh, more arrests. When it's time, we will bring forth uh, solid cases and we'll be able to tell the community what happened. In Milwaukee, Rebecca Clough, today's TMJ4. Now, tip lines are still active with the ATF, and that number is 1-888-ATF-FIRE.